Hi Ken, uh, so uh, what day is it today? It's Tuesday, Lindsay. Tuesday, just Tuesday. It's Tuesday cruise day. Ah, <laughs> and we're now at Wilton on our way down to Southampton. We, we just had a really heavy rainstorm and, and now just as quickly the sun's come out, which is yeah. great news. And it's bone dry here. It's bone dry. You wouldn't yeah. believe how quickly it's changed. Yeah. So we are going on a uh, trip into the Baltic area, which is probably more Scandinavia. This they've changed all the changed all the uh, places that we're going. Um, but which ship are we going on? We are going on our favourite ship, which is sorry for not looking into the camera, but I'm driving. We are on our favourite ship, which is the Aurora. Can't wait to get on there, and we will give you plenty of updates and do some vlogs while we're on there. Hopefully, we'll have lots of fun times to share with you. Yeah. For now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, and welcome to part one of our 16 night Baltic cruise adventure on PO's Aurora. In this episode, we travel down to Southampton, embark the ship, and reacquaint ourselves with some of our favourite spots on our favourite ship. So hi and welcome, we're in the Mayflower Terminal now, just um, arrived, we arrived at the port at 10 past, quarter past 12 um, and we'll soon be called through security to board and the time now is 25 to, so from entering the check-in terminal to getting called, quarter of an hour, there are only 830 passengers on board this ship. It's going to be really good. I'm sure service will be fantastic. <laughs> wonderful. Oh, well, here we are, actually heading to the ship now. What a wonderful check-in process today compared to the last episode we had on uh, Princess, Sky Princess. So we're actually now walking on the ship. Aren't we, lovely? Yeah. On the average. Yeah, what's going on? And, uh, it's quite interesting when we did pull up at the dock side to see that she actually looked quite small. We know she's not small, but she is beautiful. The beautiful Aurora. So Lindsay, we finally got onto Aurora. Yes. And what have you got on your thing there? This is a bit of fizz. A bit of fizz to start with. And um, followed by... Some red wine. Yes, good. So you got them lined up already. <laughs> you got them lined up already. I have, yes. And the menu? And the menu is here, and it's going to be um, a sit down, sit down here. So this is our welcome on board menu, and very nice it is too. Look at that, lovely. This is a very, very similar menu to the ones we had on Britannia. It was absolutely gorgeous, I think, on that one. I had the salt and pepper squid followed by the harissa lamb cutlets. And from my memory, it was absolutely stunning. Isn't that right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, I think so. It's been so long since we've had an inside cabin. <laughs> so exciting to be back on here. Yeah, home. That's the one. That'll do. Go on then. Woohoo! Is it a sideways or a normal yeah. one? No, it's a normal one. Wow. So we have arrived in our cabin and it is a proper old-fashioned inside cabin like we used to have for the first oh, 30 cruises I guess that we had but it's just like coming home we've had a lovely meal um, in the Alexandra restaurant welcome on board absolutely wonderful um, as you can see all our stuff's here we've only got 800 people on board so we'll get this all packed up um, sort ourselves out and then we'll come back and uh, watch the muster video and have a chat to you in a little while see you soon 
So Lindsay, the time is now quarter to four on the 24th yes. and we've managed to get to this beautiful bar, the crow's nest, the sun is shining outside and what are you doing? I'm drinking a Hendrix. A Hendrix. Perfect serve. Perfect serve, yes. And? And it's really nice. And it's really nice. And where are we? We're where are we actually? Oh, let me just move away from here because this is quite special. We are. So, we are. We are sat, sat at the bar. At the bar in the crow's nest, which is really quite special. And I've got a squeaky seat. It hasn't been used for a while. It's the extra weight it's carrying. Cheers. cheers. So, mm. who are you saying cheers to? Everybody. Everybody. Cheers to life. Um, say, hello and uh, no. welcome on board. Oh, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Aurora. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's yeah. nice to be home, isn't it, Jill? Yeah. yeah, nice to be home. The crow's nest is going to be empty. I tell you, the bar service is going to be unbelievable on yeah. here. Yeah. I think so. There's a lot of people in there that we recognise, <laughs> yeah, don't we? Yeah, a lot of we? staff that oh, we really? recognise. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, yeah. so. Oh, in no, the crow's no. nest, there's three, um, sorry, um, two waiters and the barman. Yeah. Oh, both barmen. Who? Yeah, we, we, we recognise them all. Yeah. 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 We're on our way to the crow's nest. Yeah, yeah. it's very good. Well, we're going back to the pennant bar now. For a, right. <laughs> thought we might spend <laughs> sail away out there. Is it? Is it? Oh. oh. So here we are in Southampton. We haven't quite set sail yet, um, but everybody's on board. Well, all 800. <laughs> <laughs> well, 830, get it right. Eight, oh, sorry, 830, yeah. Um, so we're just going to pop back to um, the pennant bar. Nobody's in the pool yet. Uh, no, there's a couple in the, um, in the jacuzzi. Oh, yeah, we're in the hot tubs down over here. Um, but she's looking really stunningly beautiful and clean, yeah. isn't she? She's looking very good. Yeah? Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Really nice ship. Ooh. We're just coming to the Crystal Pool and it is so hot in here, it's almost like a sauna. Um, obviously the roof is closed at the moment. Um, again, nobody on board. It's just so weird. Oh, look. It's the cricket pitch. I wonder if there'll be any cricket on board this cruise. Really good fun playing cricket in the past. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Ta -da! And one of our favourite pastimes. What's our favourite pastime, Lindsay? Shuffleboard. And three courts here. They've moved them around a bit, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, it used to be two, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's hopeful. Mm. But yes. the sun is gorgeous at the moment. It's not going to last long if you look at those clouds. No, there's a bit of a cloud up there. <laughs> it's a bit dark, but um, yeah. Oh, it's so nice to be back on board. So on this side of the ship, we've got the Coit's Courts, where hopefully we'll be going into battle. Yeah. Even well, if it's a... Oh, look, oh, what's got, all this? That's so that you can't throw it over the side. Well, it never used to be there. No, it didn't. It spoils the view. Well, perhaps they're waiting for you. Hey, spoils the view, Petunia. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure when we're going to set sail, but it can't be far off now. Southampton looking very much like Southampton. Golf simulators in there. Yeah, where it used to be. But if you're... And if you're under the age of 14, you must be accompanied by an adult. <laughs> but there are no under 18s on board this ship. It's adults only. It looks like they haven't updated the side. It's quite pleasant up here though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. So are we going back down to... Well, do you want to go to the pennant bar or do you want to go back to the crow's nest? Pennant bar's fine. Sure? Yeah, crow's nest is fine. <laughs> Lindsay! <laughs> So are we, once we've had a few more drinks and we've sailed away, are we a going... Few. A few. Okay. Are we going oh, yeah. back to change for dinner? We ought to, to put something slightly better on for dinner. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and try and create a good impression for dinner on the first night. Well, I'll be right, yeah, it's really good, yeah. <laughs> and then they're really I'm nice, sure they will. <laughs> I'm sure you will, dear. <laughs> so we've just been acquainted with the, with the bar staff over here and they have informed us that the pennant bar 
is the best bar on the ship and it's the place where we're going to get the best service and it's the poshest bar in the afternoon <laughs> so so it's le le lane. la lane but everyone calls me lala lala yeah lala for short oh that's nice <laughs> it's easy to remember oh, yes but not not particularly complimentary if you know what lala is in a cartoon in the UK. Yeah, Teletubbies, the yellow one. You've seen it, have you? <laughs> <laughs> so you've been watching that. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were going to say that it's La La Land, the, the no. actors. No, 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 the Teletubbies, the yellow one. Now you understand the level that we're yes, at. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's obvious. No, 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 Emily, no, 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 I, how could I say a thing like that? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I use that name because my mom, uh, my mom, uh, my uh, daughter called Mommy. I think I need to call you Mommy Lala. Why Mommy Lala? It's easy, no? You know the Teletubbies, the yellow one? Looks like you. You must, oh. you must have had your daughter at a very young age. I started working in the ship when I was three years old. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, you were just reliving some times from the past. Past times on or I was saying that you know, many years ago, we used to come out on board at Sail Away. Uh, and across the back over here, yeah. there would be um, people viewing and waving goodbye to everyone. In the middle of the deck down here, there would be a large table covered with glasses of champagne that was on sale for a pound a glass. A pound a glass. pound Imagine. a glass. And we used to say it was expensive. <laughs> um, and, and now it's just not the same. We used to have and, the ticker tape and, going down over. And down further, your cousin would Sue, be there. Sue would be waving Wave at us with her flag. Uh, yeah. uh, For those ladies mm -hmm. who have problems with their outfits yes. during a long cruise, yes. it's nothing to do with the food. No? No, no. It's all to do with the sea air. Mm -hmm. It makes everything shrink. And does the alcohol make things shrink? No. Oh. What did you say? What? What were you saying? About your cards. My cards. Did you listen to me? No. When I said to bring some more? No. No. What are you? Uh, very stupid? stupid. Very clever young man. Stupid. Who is relatively stupid. sober compared with <laughs> some of the company he's with at the moment. You see, Gavin. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just emotional. This is Aurora. Yeah. So you see, Gavin, Luke's not the only one <laughs> who, gets, <laughs> <not here. laughs> who gets emotional at sail away time on Aurora. We haven't even got as far as Anderson. I know, not yet. <laughs> Working on it. So we have only had so far a couple of glasses of fizz. Yes, I agree with you there. One glass of red wine. Yeah, but you didn't see how much was in the glass. Well, it was quite a bit. It but, was quite a it, bit. It was more than one glass. Depends how big mm, the glass is now. It depends one glass how much you drank before you actually got the top up. And then we had a, a Hendrix. We did. A large Hendrix. Uh, yeah. And a Long Beach iced tea. Yeah, it's good for you. Because of the cranberry juice. Yeah, absolutely. Is a... De detoxifier. It is. Yes. Try saying that. No, I'm not going to. Because <laughs> you can't. <laughs> So this is us moving away from the dock now from Southampton. Just fired up the main engines. And away she goes. And we're off, darling. We are. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. Do you love me? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You might be emotional, man. Yes. How emotional would you like to be? <laughs> that depends on how many drinks I've had. <laughs> so, are you feeling emotional, Lindsay? Very nice feeling being on board Aurora. Is there something you'd like to say to Sean? Sean, Sean, 
It's very emotional. So, Lindsay, we just had dinner in the main dining room tonight, and what was your opinion? It was okay. Yeah? Yeah. Starter? Uh, yeah. yeah, I had the mushroom. Uh, mushroom. Um, what was it? Well, it was like a mushroom Lucy panna cotta thing. Panna cotta, yeah, thing. yeah, whatever. And then I had to it. Right. Tomato soup, that was fine. I had the ham hock soup, it uh, was very nice. Was that? Yeah. And then I had the fish, which was mm, not good. Not good. Was that the witch soul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bony? Very. Even without sort of skimming it off the top. And no, it was just, no, no, it wasn't good. And I ended up having the steak, which is very unusual for me, but the choices weren't particularly inspiring. No, nothing really. Um, but the soup was very nice and then I had cheese and biscuits to finish with. You did, didn't you? And you had... Uh, panna cotta. Panna cotta. We, we didn't, um, we didn't have the little pot of accoutrements. And where were the sweets? Oh no, we had Turkish delight. We had Turkish delight. Yeah, yeah we had Turkish the delight. Coffee was drinkable. Yeah, it was drinkable. Yeah. And now we're having coffee. Anderson's. Anderson's. And we're having having um raspberry crème brûlée. Raspberry crème brûlée. This will be lovely. It's just been shaken, not stirred just now. Certainly is. By a wonderful barman. Yeah. And then we're off to the Curzon Theatre for Horizon Show. Yeah. Which we've seen before, but it's quite yeah. a good show. It's yeah. for an opening night. Yeah, it's right. Yeah. Um, but the ship is extremely friendly. Yeah, everybody's, all the staff are just chatty and happy and. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Okay. So, Lindsay, you now have your raspberry creme brulee. It's gorgeous. Go for it. And the verdict? Yum. <laughs> and so we went to the theatre. No video footage, I'm afraid, due to copyright protection. So here we are in the crow's nest. Um, our first night on board. Virtually empty. Um, not a lot of people around. We've sort of gone from place to place tonight, enjoying the fact that it's really quite empty. What do you think, Lindsay? Oh, it's very nice. It's like coming home, isn't it? Are you turn on? Yeah. It's it's like it's like putting on an old pair of slippers. Yeah. It's really comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's um very happy. Very happy on here. And I just I just find it difficult to understand why there are not more people on here. I know that there's the whole itinerary issue, yeah. but this is um, this is just lovely. Comfortable. It's it's almost an, an it's a, almost a forgotten pleasure, really. Yeah. The ship's just tip-top condition. Yeah. Absolutely. The staff are amazing. The staff are fun. The staff are so chatty on here. Maybe that's because they've got a little bit more time. Yeah. But the end staff, the end staff are everywhere and they're yeah, really yeah. communicative. Yeah. We had a nice little <coughs> chat earlier to the entertainment manager and his assistant. Yeah. Um, mm. Giovanni, who we've never met before, and he can chat to us twice. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we took the opportunity to speak to him first he then yeah. next time spoke to us shook my hand yeah the whole thing is the whole it's just everything is just so different yeah it just feels so so normal yeah comfortable yeah pleasant yeah and that's how we ended our first evening on board aurora if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be sure to catch all our future episodes. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell.